I have the 223 casings here and I bought this cutoff saw from Harbor Freight does a great job it comes with two replaceable saws and does a great job cutting these down really quick um, I made a little jig here so when I place the casing in just butt it right up against there give it a little snug and when I chop it it will cut it to about inch and 35 just a little bit just enough so where I trim it off it makes it so much simpler now I've seen online there's people that made up one they uh, made up a plastic one and you can they that actually is they made it for this it'll fit in here you can purchase that but you know me I just put drilled and tapped the hole here and then put this nut and bolt here and made it as dead stop so I'll start it up and just bring this down Like I said, just bring it in there. And uh, does a good job, quick. And then um, what I do is I'll reform these, which I'll show you next on the press to make these into the 22 TCM. And um, what I do is when I'm done with the whole process and everything, that's when I wash the brass out. At least that's what I do. And. Um, next step is to reform and uh, I'll show you that all right these are the casings that I cut down on the Harbor Freight saw so now before I form them down in the dies I like to clean off these little burrs this way so it doesn't mar up my dies so I'm gonna do that on my prep station here this is the Frankfurt Arsenal prep uh, case prepping which is really nice so what I'll do is I'll uh, the burr the outside and the inside on each of the casings. Now remember this may seem like a lot of work but this is a one-time deal because we're making the casings out of the 223. So once we cut them down and once we clean them up and then we resize them, once that's all done, then they're, they're an actual 22 TCM casing, then it's just your normal resizing and trimming. So now the next step will be, I'll show is to form these, how I do it to, to make them into the 22 TCM cartridge. Okay, I'm going to uh, prime these with uh, Lyman Universal Primer. And now I'm going to change that out. And put in the roughing die that I made that will rough down this cut down case of the 223. It's going to rough it down to make it easy to form down for the 22 TCM. So, again, um, these are not annealed. And uh, if you want to put a little bit of lube on there, that's fine. And we'll bring that down and 
this is how it's going to rough it down. And what it does is it helps on that 23 degree angle. So it's not so much, just a straight wall casing on that die. And it also brings down for that neck a little bit. So it's going to help it all the way around to keep that from gouging the casing and collapsing it. So, okay, so let's do these other two. Okay. Now these are roughed out. Now we're going to bring it over to the finishing die, the 22 TCM Lee finishing die. And uh, I like to run it through the die twice. Okay, so we'll do one pass. And just to show you, there's the one pass. And see, there's no gouges, no rips. But I like to run it through there twice. And the reason why is it gives it more, just a more uniformity form. And that's what she looks like. And then, of course, then we just got to trim it down. But perfect. No gouges, no rips. Um... And then we'll do the other ones. And again, don't have it annealed. And I've used these reformed casings already seven, eight times I've reloaded them. And still no cracks. Again. The key is that roughing die. It helps it so that way the die is not taking all that material and pointing it down. Now this is the roughing guy that I made. Um, of course, this is the 7 14 thread. Um, you can get that at uh, McMaster Order, a, a, a bar. And uh, what I did was is I, um, I drilled and reamed in there. For the 370 diameter, which is the case diameter, I drilled it to a 300 depth. And then I rough drilled a quarter inch drill to a 187 depth. Then I finished, I reamed the hole to a 300 diameter to a 200 depth. But what I did was is that I sharpened the reamer the cutting edges at 23 degrees, which is the same degree that that is on the 22 TCM. And that's where you'll get that roughness on that roughing die. And um, I don't know if you could see, it's kind of hard, but, and that's it, and that's the key. And um, you rough it and take away, so it's not so much just going in on that straight ca wall casing on the uh, resizing die and, uh, it definitely uh, it helps it and there's no problem so again um, I'll leave in the description exactly the dimensions of what I used and uh, to make this roughing die and uh, as you see it uh, did a great job on the casings and again no uh, annealing or you know you could use lube you know I'll put on one or two casings and that'll be enough to keep it going for about 50 or 60 casings. I'm gonna start trimming the 223s that I cut down and formed for the 22 TCM. And I'm gonna trim those down to inch and 25. Then after this, then I will take and deburr 
and prep the casing up for loading. This is the Lyman Universal trimmer. And I have the drill attachment on here, which makes it so much easier than cranking it by hand. And there's the 223 casing. And there's the 22 TCM made from the 223 casing. And again, thank you for watching.